Oh, there you are. You ready for episode two? Okay, well, welcome everybody to uh, either episode, I'm excited if it's an episode or a part. Anyways, episode number two of Wood Arrow Making 101. Today we're going to talk about what to do when you finally decide on the shafts that you're going to use. And if you want more information on that, you can refer back to episode one when I kind of go over the uh, different uh, species and types and options that you have in your shafts. But for now, we're going to work on these shafts here. These are some 70s, 75s that I'm going to make up for my friend Trent. And we're going to open them up. So the first thing I do when I get these shafts is I'll take them out of the bundle. And I'll stick them in my PVC, PVC tube carrier here. These are really handy. If you get a chance, make yourself up one of these. I like having two of them, so I put... Uh, the arrows that I before I start working on in one and then as I progress through the step they'll go into tube number two kind of helps just keep stuff uh, apart if you don't have something like that you can always just lay them out on the table I did this for a lot of years too put a divider on once you're done working on the shaft kick them over to the other side and then that way you don't miss anything as you're going through it so but for now Stick them back in the tube. The tube here, I'm just gonna kinda set on the floor. It's kinda nice to save table space uh, when you have them. So, the other thing I do, there could be a lot of time in between making arrows. I take notes, a lot of notes. And this book, I use this book for years. It's, it's full of numbers and shafts and spines and stuff. Take note as to what you use. So the first thing I will do is I will write down what's on the shaft card, the spine, the weight, the length, and the diameter. Um, that will give you an idea if at the end you find an arrow that works really good for your bow setup, you can repeat it. So in a year or two down the road, when you decide you need to make some more arrows and you go back to the shaft manufacturer and ask for them, you can remember what you have. So it's a good idea to always take notes and stuff. Just uh, I started a book on arrows. Um, and like I said, I prefer, I still refer back to this uh, when I'm making arrows for a certain bow that I've shot in the past. So good idea to keep notes. First thing I'll do is I'll take these shafts, okay? These are a premium Sherwood shaft. I will look them over real quick. And the first thing I do is I will sight down the shaft. It helps when you're looking down the shaft if you can find a, uh, a transition in the room between something dark and something light. That'll almost kind of reflect the line up your shaft and it will help you sight down to see if they're straight or crooked, okay? So for today, since it's kind of hard for me to capture that on film, I've tried it. This is an arrow inspector, that's what they call it. Basically, it's an arrow spinner, uh, it's another term for it. And you can put your shaft on there, rotate it with your finger, and you will see if it's crooked at all or not. And I'll try to get a zoomed up photo of this to, to put into the video. Anyways, by spinning this, you'll see if there's any imperfections in the shaft. You can see this one has a slight wobble up on this end. So what I'm gonna do is I'll sight down and see where it's at. And after a while, you'll get good at this, but I can see where it is crooked right about here. It has a little wow in it. This is at the very end of the shaft. Now these are 32 inches long. The arrows that I'm gonna make for Trent are 30. So what I'm gonna do is in my tube, I always put the arrows knock side up. Okay, so this helps me determine what side of the shaft is going to receive the knock taper and what side of the shaft is going to receive the tip taper. So since I'm going to cut that crooked part off, then this shaft or this arrow will be perfectly straight when I build it. So put that one down and move on to the next one. Okay. Now you'll get to some like this one. There's no wobble in it. It's perfectly straight all the way around. So then what I do is I look at the shaft and I'll spin the ends to see if there's one smoother than the other, to see if there's any difference there. 
There's really not. Then what I'm doing is I'm going to look at the grain structure down the shaft. And this one's pretty straight, so it doesn't matter which end I make the knock or the point on this one. So I'll, I'll just pick one, stick it in the tube. Same thing. I will sight down real quick. And like this one has a wow in it. This one is crooked. Put this in here. And you can see it on this side right here. It is crooked. Okay, so for most of my arrows, we see this is a crooked one. I hand straighten them, okay? Just using the back of my hand, I will sight down the arrow shaft till I see where the bow on this one, now I've oriented to where it's bowing this way. So that tip is going up and I can see the bow and it is right about there on the shaft. What I'll do is I'll grab it and I'll put that bow so it's at the back end of my palm of my hand. I'll get it there and then I'll just flex the shaft. By doing that, and I'll rotate it around and check it again. And what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to pull this shaft is what I'm doing. This hand is just kind of stabilizing it. The hand back by my face, but I will do that a couple times and you'll get it to where it's pretty straight. See that? Took a lot of that wobble out of there. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of other methods for straightening a shaft. This is my theory. If I can't straighten it with just using my hand, I don't want it in your quiver. These arrows that I'm making for uh, my buddy Trent are gonna be hunting arrows. So these are premium shafts that are gonna be in his quiver. I don't want to do a whole lot of straightening on them. If I do, that, that's not a really good quality shaft and I should probably look for something else, okay? But, I'm gonna show you how to use a lot of other methods for straightening shafts, okay? And I'll explain what this is for, this is the fun part. 